Hi and welcome, Lisa here for Trinity Stamps. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm sharing a little sneak peek of two new, not yet released products. Also, be sure you're joining us over on Instagram for the Autumn Rainbow Release Hop that starts this morning and we are sharing lots of inspiration over there over the next two days with you. So laid out here, I have two die cut pieces, a solid panel cut from black cardstock and a window panel cut from white cardstock. I'm stamping a few images onto 80 pound smooth cardstock along with the sentiment and I've run those through my scanning cut and they cut out perfectly. Now I have a piece of acetate that I just trimmed down so that I can cover this die cut window panel. We're going to do a quick shaker card. I attach that with Sukwang tape. Some people also know it as tear tape or score tape. Now I'm going over the acetate with doubled up adhesive strips and set that to the side. So I decided to close up my back of my shaker. I would go ahead and do a quick ink blended background, distress oxide inks in the colors peacock feathers and hickory smoke just to give it a little bit of color. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix up a few fun goodies to go in that shaker. And I'm using green and purple eyes, and then I'm also using candy corn. So I carefully added those to each window and then removed the release paper from the adhesive strips. And I'm gonna add that panel to the back of my shaker. Now I decided that I wasn't filling the white panel. So I went ahead and ink blended another card panel exactly like the first one. And we're going to run it through the die cut machine with the dies you see here. So here's the card. I've are, we're going to attach that die cut panel over the white with some liquid adhesive. We're using foam square adhesives to add the cute little trick or treaters and the trick or treat sentiment. And you see how perfect that cuts out with the scanning cut. And what I did was just kind of put those letters on there wonky and overlap them a little bit. So let's go ahead and wrap this up by adding that to a white card base that's three and a half inches by eight and a half inches with liquid adhesive. And that's going to bring us to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. I can't wait for you guys to see this in person. It is an amazing set. Thanks for joining me. Remember, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new content to the channel. For more information about the products used, you're going to head over to Trinity Stamps website tomorrow morning. And thanks for joining me. Have a great day.